everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Carolina and today we're going to talk about calories. So the most asked question always is about calories. As we believe that's the answer to weight control. It doesn't really work like that. Let me explain the most important thing to you. Uh, all calories are not equal. So it depends. If we're eating 300 calories that, and we just had a cake or cookies or a candy bar, it will be a different 300 calories that we take from the chicken breast. It might seem the same as 300 should be 300. Well, it doesn't work like that because those 300 calories from the candy bars is more likely to be stored as fat than is the 300 calories from the really plain chicken breast. So that's really important to understand that calories are not equal at all. What we do need to concentrate on is getting the right mix of proteins, fats, and carbs, and to get enough nutrition in our system. Because if your body doesn't have enough nutrition, it just starts going crazy and what you feel, uh, you feel hungry all the time, all the time, and you're interrupting the whole process because it's, it shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't feel hungry constantly. But if you're getting all those calories from all those junk foods, even though you are getting the calories, so it should, you, should, you think you'll feel full, but you're not because actually you're not feeding your body properly. So it's still lacking the nutrition, even though you did have the, the huge amount of calories, you didn't actually feed your body at all. So your body is giving you signals that it's still hungry, so you need more. So you feel, so you're craving all the time and then you're packing yourself up with those burgers and chips and fries and candy bars and everything because your body is not getting the signal that it's okay, that it's done, it's finished, that you already had enough food because you actually didn't. Your body's point of view is different. It ceases at nutrition and you didn't, even though you did pack your body up with all those calories, but those are called like the empty calories. They will store as fat, but your body's not fed properly. So we all know that it is true that in order to be able to lose some pounds, some kilograms, it is decrease the amount of calories. Yes, that is right, but we have to be smart about it. We cannot just go crazy about cutting down the calories to the minimum possible intake. What is insane these days is everyone is looking at those boxes and everything. everyone is looking at the labels of foods and it's like, and it's great, it's brilliant, it's a great, great, it's the bestest habit you can have to look at the labels of the packaging. But what we are looking at, we're looking at what? Calories, okay? And again, that's not the most important part. Look at the labels, brilliant, great. But look what it contains, what's inside of it. Look what it has, look at the ingredients. Don't look at the amount of calories because I said calories and calories are not the same. Okay, so what happens if you're on a diet constantly? You're doing dieting a lot and then you crash your diet and then you do it over again and then you crash it again and you do it over again and you crash it again. Okay, you need to understand what's happening in your body. So what happens then? You're getting irritated, you're getting depressed, you don't like yourself, you feel like you don't want to go out, you want to close, you want to close inside, you don't want to talk to anyone. Well, it does impact every single aspect of your life again and it's not how it's supposed to be. It should be impacting your life but in a good way. The most important thing is that it doesn't only change your attitude towards food, it's like being afraid of it, you don't like it anymore, you feel fear, you don't want to eat anymore because you're afraid of every single calorie you're going to eat is going to store as fat again. It doesn't work this way but the worst part, what's happening when you're doing all those diets over and over and over again, you're not starting from the same level every single time. Because dieting all over or your life, it completely ruins your metabolism. And that's the most important part of what you need to understand. So what happens? Our body goes into starvation mode. So our metabolism just shuts down. What's the result of it? It's once we stop dieting, we finish our plan or weekly or monthly plan or whatever we were following earlier on, we putting all this weight back on. So then we experience the yo-yo effect again. And on top of that, we can put on some more pounds even that we didn't have before, which makes it even worse. But what we need to remember that we already slowed down our metabolism. So even if we do start to diet again, we're not starting from the same point because we have much slower metabolism. So the diet that used to work for us, it's not going to this side because we're starting from a completely different point. So all those companies right now with this incredibly great, brilliant marketing, 
They make us think that once we did lose this weight, one time, following their plan, it's going to happen again. Well, what I said previously, it is not going to happen again because we're starting from a completely different level this time. What we need to concentrate on right now is, first of all, speed up our metabolism, something that we already have ruined those couple of weeks, months ago, or even years by following all those different diets for years and years. Some of us just following all those sorts of diets for all their life. So that is what we need to understand, that right now we need to work on our metabolism to speed it up first and then concentrate on the healthy eating habits and healthy eating plan. Because even if we did lose weight this time when we're following some kind of crazy plan, brilliant, yes. So we lost those pounds, but you, did, but you slower down your metabolism. So if you're going to eat exactly those, even the same, the same foods, again, with the same, exactly following the same, the same plan, it's possible that you can even phone. Sorry, I need to get that. I'll be right back. <laughs> but that was my mom. There we go. What did we finish at? Thanks, mom. So what I was saying, if we did follow the same plan, what we lost the weight before, where well, probably what's going to happen now, we might lose a little bit less, but we might not lose anything, or we can even put on some more pounds following exactly the same plan that we used to follow. Because of our metabolism, we didn't fix it. We didn't think about it. You need to think about your metabolism. That's really important. Oh, I just... I just hate the word calories, okay? It's being so, 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 so overused, okay? In most of the cases, it's being misinterpreted. And that's what's really, really, really wrong about it. Our approach towards calories right now, these days, is just crazy. We don't realize what it is. We don't realize what it's for. Everyone these days wants to lose weight very quickly. But we don't understand that it's not up to the like completely abnormal decrease of calories intake. It's not. The only time I do recommend very, very, very strict diet plan and really huge calories decrease intake, that's during the detox time. But that is completely different story. Detox is a completely different thing. But this video is not about detox, so I will explain everything about detox in my next video. So if you don't want to miss out on anything, don't forget to subscribe not to miss it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.